And we're back. It's It's been fun. It was a while since we'd been to GABF in person, but we're back. Man, I think it's time that we have a beer and kind of take in what we saw from the biggest weekend in beer in America, right? How you doing, Mike? I'm doing good. How you doing, Ryan? I, I'm doing better now. I've got uh, I've got a Westbound and Down collaboration IPA with Pizza Port going, so uh, I'm feeling pretty good about oh, it. Nice, nice. Well, I've got, uh, I have my uh, Belgian double uh, in a Buffalo Sabres um fills <laughs> <in our> glass <laughs> is for for hardcore as hardcore as i am about the proper glass where i should be put in jail for drinking a belgian double out of um pilsner glass but whatever oh so, it is hockey season i guess okay i'm yeah. with you <laughs> so folks this is this is the beginning of the series that we're we're starting off uh after in the wake of jbf and what we saw what we thought and where it's going from here so i just i just want to say i was really i was happy to be back in person if you guys missed our show from last year, we did come to some of the live sessions. We kind of had some reaction to that. And it was, it was difficult. I got to tell you, uh, I was just happy to be back out on the floor. How did you feel about it? Uh, yeah, it was definitely better to be back in person, right? I, when was it? Was it last year or the year before that they did like the virtual GBF that we covered? Uh, yeah. And it was a train wreck. It was awful. <laughs> you can't do GBF <laughs> without actual people and beards. It doesn't work over Zoom. Um, and they proved that, but no, it was really good. Um, you know, it's, uh, I, I'm amazed, um, at the logistics behind that event. It is absolutely amazing that you can put tens of thousands of people through those tasting sessions and the other events going along on, uh, on the side. Um, so successfully, I mean, they do it well every year. We get really good beers every year and this year was no exception you know, yeah. compared to the other years that they do it live. <laughs> yeah, abs absolutely. It was just, it was just refreshing to have that kind of rush um, for us being behind the, the scenes in media. Like you get to see a little bit of the walk-in. Like normally when I'm in the crowd in years past, I don't even know the Pipers are coming until I start to hear them. Right. But to see them warm up and all that. And folks, you'll see a short here on the channel. Make sure you go check out that one as well. Of, of the walk-in and what it what it feels like to be right next to them that's always a lot of fun but that's just like that's the opening moment right that's just like it's on and the mad dispersion of people is always fun for me i felt like that was just like a big sigh of relief though from a lot of folks that we ran into and talked to particularly from the brewers we talked to more brewers this year than we probably ever have and it was all like just smiles and happiness, like the overwhelming joy of being yeah. on that floor was there. Yeah, you could feel it. You could feel it. Like everybody, the brewers, the volunteers, the, um, you know, the people actually running the thing the, it, and everybody that was there just to participate. You could feel that it was just like a sense of relief, like, thank God we were out of our houses and able to do this again. You know, um, uh, you know, I certainly felt it. Right. We're all getting stir crazy. Um but yeah, it was it was it was a really uh, interesting experience to um, you know just to, that feeling that everybody was just so happy that we were actually being able to attend a beer festival again. Yeah, it, it's nice, and it was yeah. it was solid turnout in terms of the number of breweries. Now, the industry's been through some some rigmarole here, a lot of shutdowns during COVID, a lot of the aftermath that just wasn't quite there and th there were some omissions that we missed folks we'll, we'll tell you about those in, in another episode uh because they definitely need to be recognized in that some some are struggling but overall i felt like the event it got off pretty well i felt like the food uh, the whole food truck thing i thought was better than it had been in the past it felt mm -hmm. like it was at least logistically for the experience of the user to go in there i felt like it, it was better than it had been and maybe the lull helped i don't know yeah. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you a question, Ryan. So normally we, we, we're used to going to the Saturday session, which is uh, usually open to just uh, members of the American Homebrewers Association. So you get kind of a different crowd, right? It's, it's um, people that know beer fairly well, presumably. And you kind of expect like the brewers to be there um, because, you know, if you're going to talk beer with people, why not talk to uh, people that make beer. Right. Yeah. So, but it was interesting. So we didn't attend the Saturday session this year. We attended a Thursday session instead. And it seemed to me that there were more brewers at the Thursday session than we would normally see on Saturdays. Did you get the same feeling? Yeah. Um, we, we didn't go on Saturday cause I was tired. 
<laughs> I got to tell you, uh, and I got to uh, think all the brewers are in the same situation, right? Like you, you've had this culmination. Most of you have traveled across the country. You've set up the booth. You, you checked all your CO2 levels. Like you make sure you're not sputing foam everywhere. Like the relief of just whew, the first couple of pours has to be pretty good. And I, and I think that's what we saw myself. Maybe, or, you know, if we're just being real, Ryan, everybody just probably got clobber knocked Thursday and Friday night. They didn't want to wake up on Saturday. Well, there was that too, <laughs> you know. Uh, you know, everybody has to have a good time, yeah, even if you're yeah. the, if you're there pouring. So I'm I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it you know it really was. It it was good to be back. Um, I'm glad we got beer festivals going on. I'm looking forward to the other festivals that we like to go to, like our local ones here down near me. Um, it's nice to see big beers come back. I don't. I think they. Uh, if I recall, I think they're not coming back this year, but maybe next. I'm not sure, but um, you know, I, I, we're ready, obviously, and the uh, yeah. the attendance and and the and the and the vibe really indicated that. So let me ask you this: We drank some some good beer. We drank some beer that we've had before because I think a lot of folks. What I noticed in the field. Maybe not so much in the submissions, but in the field that was poured, people brought a lot of their beers that they know folks like. Like it was a lot of the greatest hits I felt. Yeah, it was very much a standard lineup, wasn't it? Um, uh, there was a couple. There were there were a couple breweries that had special pours throughout the evening. Um, that was cool. I don't think we actually hit up any of those, but yeah, for the most part, you you usually do. You see some sort of special stuff on the table, but uh, I didn't see a lot of that. Um, that was actually a little bit disappointing. Um, you know, we go there to try stuff that we haven't tried before. And, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, there's 500 breweries there, right? <laughs> you, there's always going to be stuff that you haven't tried before. But, um, you know, our favorite breweries usually have some special pour that's just out. And yeah. there wasn't a lot of that this year. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it's unusual. There were a couple of standouts. And, folks, we're going to run those down. And we have some great interviews coming from some of the brewers that stood out uh, to us a, a lot of uh, let's not blame Mike a lot of it was me because I wanted to go talk to somebody so we've got some of those episodes coming for you as well but as a whole it was very much hey give them what they want and that's that was the greatest hits portion for me and and I agree with you we did get a couple of special pours on the the second night we'll tell you more about paired and we have upcoming episodes on that as well what the event is and, and what the difference is um, I think you guys will be really intrigued by that as well but overall despite being beers, a lot of beers that we had had before. And, and like I said, you're, we're going to talk about Weller. We're going to talk about Weller aged here later, folks. Yeah, another episode. Yeah. <laughs> um, there were some special events, but I felt like that raised my, my experience of just walking around the floor when I got to just relax and enjoy, Hey, I want to taste that. I want to taste. like that raised my floor. I didn't, I didn't have as much special. I didn't have as much where I was like, I'm not going to finish this. So for me, I felt like the floor was raised as well. Yeah, no, there were no bad beers. I certainly didn't have any bad beers. There were beers that I like more than others for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, there was no no duds. Uh, we didn't sample everything. That's impossible. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, maybe we lucked out. I don't know. But uh, no, man, breweries are making good beer. I don't, you know, I it, it's uh, I think we've worked out kinks. I don't think anybody's going to be showing up to Great, Great American Beer Festival with a uh, uh, average or below average beer. No, no, I, no. Not, not knowingly. Same. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And th and that's where that's where I want to kind of like, what do you think the future is? Like, I felt this came roaring back to what it had been, or nearly so, at least from the logistics, from the staging, from getting people in the door. Do you feel I, like I, that is, or where does it go from here? It feels like they picked up exactly where they left off, you know, a few years ago when um, before the pandemic hit, right? Um, logistically totally sound, maybe even some improvements. I didn't really see a whole lot of line outside. Um, you know, you used to wrap all the way around the building. Um, I didn't see that, right? So, I mean, logistics are logistics, right? That's not beer drinking. But otherwise, it's the exact same Great American Beer Festival that we're used to, you know, 500 plus breweries, Pan Am competition, homebrew competition, um, you know, uh, the medals, uh, the other awards, um, all the same things going on inside along with the festival, right? The uh, bagpipers, the, um, you know, the goofy disco thing, the silent mm -hmm. disco or whatever it's called. <laughs> it's all the stuff. If you've been to Great American Beer Festival before, um, man, it is back. It, they have not lost any mojo. It's perfect. Um, 
uh, you know, if, if you haven't been to great American beer festival, you, you got to give it a shot, right? It's, yeah. um, Ryan and I've been going for at least five years now. Um, more than that really, but five years together mm-hmm. and, uh, we still have fun. You know, it's Absolutely. like, you don't have to go make it a big giant party or you can't, <laughs> you make right. it what you want out of it, but it's always worth going, you know, um, but they're back. They're totally back. Haven't missed a beat at all. And uh, I'm really glad we got to go. Yeah, I am too. And if you are somebody that found craft beer during COVID or, or during this low, when it's such a contraction of the industry, well, welcome aboard. Cause there's a lot coming at you. Uh, if you haven't been to this event, before you need to get back to it because it's unique if you have been you're going to see some new things we're going to show you some of those new things in upcoming episodes and i do want to let you know this is the rgr craft show it's not necessarily a podcast anymore that's how we were branded now we're doing things a little bit differently you're going to see shorts from us you're going to see episodes like this from us we have a lot of insight not just on events like this but the beer industry itself and where it's going we are also not just beer we're going to do whiskey, wine, all kinds of spirits, uh, anything craft. I personally want to get into the foodie stuff because there's a lot of, of room there that I'm kind of into. And we will definitely start by showing you some of the paired things that we found, some of the highlights of the show that we found, some of the behind the scenes that I was able to attend that maybe not everybody gets to see. So make sure that you get liked on this video and get sub for the channel because as we grow you'll get to see more content we appreciate you spending your time with us we'll catch you next time cheers cheers be good